Okay, good afternoon again. Your favorite total is Ea Tutor Yomi. Uh, today is actually my birthday, and I'm, and I've just been solving and solving and solving, but no wala. Okay, so let's um, look at the question. This is actually from circle geometry. Uh, circle geometry happens to be one of the topics that gives students headache in mathematics. And here we need as at least two to three uh, theorem of circle geometry to demystify this question. So the question is on the board. Here we have the circumference. Here we have the center of the circle. And then, so it's important we understand that these are opposite angle. And uh, it's, uh, it's also very important we know what we call supplementary angle. Of course, we have complementary angle, supplementary angle. Now, the first thing we want to look at is we are given this a quadrilateral, this a quadrilateral, this is also a quadrilateral, a quadrilateral inside a quadrilateral. Are you following now? Okay, so you have one, two, three, four. Um, it's a circle. It's a circle now. So the circle has a center of B, C, D, B, C, D, okay? And then equal the following. So we are given all of the parameters. So we are asked to find the value of X and the value of Y. That's what we're told to do. Okay, so do not forget some of the rules or some of the things you have learned in circle geometry. For example, you were taught that the angles of tend at the center, not in the center, at the center is twice the what? At the circumference, thank you, is twice. Okay. Number two, you remember you were also told that opposite angle of a quadrilateral equals to a supplementary angle, okay? Equals to 180, thank you. Uh -uh. You know that now they should have been able to solve the question. So that means the opposite side of this angle now is equals to 180. That, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. So we need that knowledge to solve this question. That the opposite angle A of a cyclic quadrilateral is equals to supplementary angle, which is equals to 180. So the first thing we want to do is we have 2y plus 10. Watch this now. What did I say? 2y plus what? Plus 10. Plus what? 2x plus what? 40. Equals to what? 180. What's the reason now? Opposite angles. Not side. Opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral. is 180 or there's no need to put 180 just say opposite angles of a cyclic called the what called the lateral so that's that helps you to get that so from here we have 2y 2x plus 50 Then you have 2x plus 2y equals to 180 minus 50. So we have 2x plus 2y equals to 130 degree. degree. So That's 180 minus this. We are 130 degree. So we can divide both sides by 2. If we divide both sides by 2, and then we have 2x plus y and 2, so it cancel. And then we have 65 degree. So x plus y, therefore, is 65. This automatically is the equation 1. So equation 2, we can easily come back again to one of the theorems that we have inferred before, we have mentioned earlier. What was the theorem we mentioned? We did say that that the angles subtend were at the center. So the angles subtend at the center, so 35 
is twice the one at the second fence. So the second fence here is 2y plus 10. So we have 5x35 equals to 4y plus 20. Okay, so what do we have here now quickly? 5x minus 4y and 20 plus 35. Thank you, students. So we have 5x plus 4y equals to what now, please? 55. That's equation what? 2. That's equation 2. Okay, so and with this, we can easily solve. So we have equation 1 and we have equation 2. And so we can solve the question proper. So I like to I like to do the solving here. So solving this question now. So we have our equation one. That's this equals to sixty five. And our equation two five x plus four y equals to fifty five. Equation two. So we have this now. We have to multiply for using elimination method. Multiply equation one by what? Four. Equation two by one. With that, we can have same coefficient uh, here. We can easily cancel out. So four times x, we have four x. Four times y, we have four y. Four times 65, who is helping us please? Four times 65, two what? Two what? That's equation three. Then we have this five x, four y, and then fifty five. Equation four. So we can easily uh, get the this plus this. That's nine x. This we go, and then let's add this together. Who is helping me, please? You have three what? Three what? So my x, therefore, divide both sides by, so what do you have, please? X is 35. X is 35. X is 35. We can easily get our y, haven't gotten x. So how do we get that? Exactly. Substitute the value of x in 20 of the equation. So we have equation one. So y equals to 65. Already we have gotten our x to be 35. Y equals to this. So y therefore is this minus this, our y. That's it. So that's what we're going to have. So y is equals to 30. Um, degree so we have gotten the value of y the second part of the question the second part of the question says that we should find angle please check the question quickly that we should find okay we should find angle what angle a b c so we're finding angle a b c that means we are particular about d so let's see whether it's actually true. Now you can reach, you can draw this thing back. So you draw it back. Uh, there's 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 something here that we didn't include. Here was 40. So please put it there in the question. 40 degrees, yes. It was only here that wasn't having anything. Yes, that's the one we are finding. Here was 40 from the original question. So 40 degree. So now, how do you find angle ABC? Let me just quickly tell you now. Angle ABC plus XY35 plus 2X plus 40 plus 40 equals to 360 degree. How? Sum of angle in a what? 
it is cyclic thank you my lord thank you for the lateral in its so sum of angle in a cyclic for the lateral gives you 360 and so we have gotten the value of x it's easy for us to navigate easily put the value of x there and then minus from here please listen put the value of x here add it together add everything together whatever you have there and then exactly subtract it from 360 yes that's it that's it so and that will be all for this particular question in case you are not still clear you can drop your question in the comment section thank you till i come your way again bye